Hello everyone, so Lords of the Fallen just released their version 1.5, which is their final update. Now, I played this game at launch, and I think I was one of the first people to beat it. I put a lot of time into getting through this game, and it was really buggy at the start, but I have seen and played it again over the time that it's been getting updates, and there's been over 30 of them between there's a Halloween quest line, which is pretty interesting, uh, there's inventory expansions, Umbral, armor there was big armor updates but today they got their biggest update yet which adds all these game modifiers here to the game so there's an iron man mode which if you die in the umbral it resets your current playthrough uh but you awake and the world progress is reset but your player progress and inventory is retained so i think that's a kind of interesting uh way to go about like doing uh, somewhat of a rogue like uh playthrough of the game there's also the pre-upgraded loot, which allows you to pick up loot that's going to be kind of scaled to your level, which I think is an interesting addition to the game. Makes it enjoyable to replay. I wouldn't recommend doing that on your first playthrough, but uh, then there's also the randomized loot. So loot dropped by enemies is randomized, does not affect quests or uh, important boss items randomized enemies so kind of like a enemy ram randomizer so we see this a lot in other souls games it's nice that a company is actually putting it into the base game there's also the ability to have more enemies but be mindful if you have a <laughs> and i played this on my gaming laptop a while ago and it was tough to process all the characters on screen i got a better setup now and it's able to run things a bit smoother but even in this game i found it's still a tiny bit choppy uh, but much better than when it first launched and there's another interesting one, the Withered Health. So whenever you heal with your healing item, you have to damage enemies to get your health back. So that makes it challenging because if you get hit once, your whole health is gone that you withered away. So interesting. And then they have options to change the Vestige Disc DK. This is one of my the annoyances I had when I first beat the game because when you beat it, there's less vestiges and then less um, and it makes the game really hard. But you can choose that right off the bat now. So I think that's interesting. But yeah, this is a pretty big update for Lords of the Fallen. I'm just going to go back over some of the other additional things that have been added to the game since launch. Uh, so there's a Way of the Bucket quest line. Uh, the Halloween one was interesting. They had a bunch of Halloween-themed items around the map, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, mob density reduction launch. That's huge, because when I played this game, as I said, it was really rough on the CPU. My, like CPU and GPU are both dying, but I noticed it got really bottlenecked anytime there's multiple characters on screen. Uh, I'm seeing that kind of now with Dragon's Dogma 2 a bit, but uh, that definitely helped out a lot with reduction to the mobs. So they have the Radiant Armor here. Kind of looks like the Tree Sentinel Armor from Elden Ring. Um, the Umbral Armor, and then the Rogar Armor. There's new spell pack, Grievous Strikes was launched, equipment storage chest, um, you're allowed to rechange your character, gamepad bindings was changed, they balanced the PvP, and they added additional secret boss weapons and abilities, and today, it's the last one, it's the Master of the Fate, I couldn't try to get that there, Master of the Fate, so new game modifier system, which is what I just showed off there, and I think that gives it a bit of replayability, I think I might give it another shot, uh, another Crab's Treasure does come out, as well as Stellar Blade, which I'll be playing both of those games, so if you want to see content on that, stay subscribed, check out my videos, and thank you so much for watching this one, I'll see you all in the next video.